Hello, welcome to Chris Tingle at Home. This year we're going to be doing things slightly differently. You're going to be making your own Chris Tingles using things that you find around your house. It's called a scavenger hunt. I tell you what to look for and then you go and look around your house to see if you can find the same thing or something that's very similar. Melanie is going to be here to give you lots of help and you've got 60 seconds to look for the objects in your house. If you don't want to do that, you can always draw the objects that I suggest using your pens and paper. The first thing I'm going to ask you to look for is an orange, which represents the world. See what you can find. Good luck. Hi there. Right, so our job is to find something round to represent the world. The Christing with its oranges don't have any oranges in our house. So it's about looking for something else that's round. So I've had a quick look in advance and I'm going to show you a couple of ideas. So the first thing I found was a tennis ball and then I had another look and I found a wash ball. But you might have something that's just a really good circle shape. But don't forget, you could also draw something on a piece of paper as well. The choice is yours and I think you'll have lots of ideas. So happy hunting and we'll see you shortly. The next thing I've got in my Chris Tingle is a candle. It represents Jesus' light in the darkness. See what you can find. Back again. Right, so the next job is to find something that represents the light of the world, Jesus' light. So how are we going to do that? Which will be the candle on the top of the Chris Tingle. But I've had a quick look again and I thought, well, what's really good is probably the torch. But you'll have other ideas and other thoughts as long as you make it safe. But what about if you can't find anything, maybe a piece of yellow clothing, favourite yellow t-shirt, something like that. Anyway, see what you can find. Now I'm looking for a red ribbon, which represents Jesus' love for us. See if you can find something red in your house. Next, we need to find something red. I'm sure you've got lots of red things at home. I've got my jumper with lots of red in, but I also had a quick look and I found some red wool. 
So I know on our Christingle it would be the red tape round the orange representing Jesus' love for us. But we're just going to see what can we find in the house that's red. See what you can find, be imaginative and bring it back and we'll see you again shortly. And finally, my Chris Tingle has got four cocktail sticks with sweets and fruits on them. They represent God's creation and the four seasons. I'm sure you've got plenty of things in your house. Go and have a look now. Wow, thinking about the seasons and all that God gives us in those seasons, that's lots of choice and I'm sure you can find something. Have a look in the fruit bowl. There might be some vegetables, some favourite veggies in the fridge. Have a think, see what you can find. I'll show you what I found. I found some tomatoes They're right from the greenhouse, very end of the season. And I really don't know if the green one's ever going to turn red, but we'll find some way to cook it and use it, maybe in chutney. But that's what I found. So see what you can find. Even if you can't think of fruit or vegetables, Maybe it might be a toy lamb, makes you think of spring, or something to think about the snow in the winter. You see what you can find, and good luck, happy hunting. So if we gather together everything that we have collected and think about the Christingle, I will say this short prayer. When the wise men visited Jesus after his birth in Bethlehem, they brought gifts. At Christmas, many of us give and receive gifts, a symbol of the love we have for family and friends. The Christingle reminds us of the many good things God gives us and of the need to share them, not only with our family and friends, but with the whole world. Amen. <laughs> 